Good day, learners, especially our graded students from Alegria National High School. So this time, I tuturuan ko po kayo on how to fill up the unknown um, details here on activity number 5, which is entitled Trace the Code. So, for the information of our learners that we are applying here the pairing under the DNA and RNA, which is DNA has a pairing of their nitrogenous bases, uh, what we call thymine is being paired with adenine, then uh, guanine is being paired with cytosine. Then under RNA, there are also four nitrogenous bases, which adenine is being paired with uh, uracil, and guanine is being paired with uh, cytosine. Okay, so let's start uh, putting the unknown here on table on the table on activity 5 which entitled to raise the code. Okay, so if we are going to convert code uh, to RNA so we will use the pairing under RNA. So if we are going to convert the code from RNA to DNA, we are going to use a uh, DNA pairing. So that will be your guide on how to put the unknown code here on the table. So let's start with. Okay, so the first one we have TEG, those are already given. Then the second one on the second column we have AUC. So it is. TEG is already converted into mRNA. So in on this case here, um, we are using RNA code. So since uh, if we convert letter T, so the pair of letter T under RNA, so you cannot see the pairing of T under RNA. So we will go back to the pairing under DNA. So the pair of T in DNA is adenine. So that is why we write here A. Then for letter A, so we are focusing here on the pairing under RNA because we converted the code into RNA. So for adenine which is A, so the pair of that under RNA is U. Then for G or guanine, the pair of that under RNA is C. Okay, let's uh, answer on the third column. So that is also RNA. So we focus on RNA. So the pair of adenine under RNA is U. So you are going to write there U. Okay, for U we have A, then for C we have G. So if you are going to look at the name of protein for this code, you are going to uh, base the code under mRNA. Then you will find what is the name of the protein for AUC in the genetic code table then you are going to write here in the last column for amino acid coded and two protein so what I found out the name of this uh, code AUC is what we call isolucine so that is the name of the code of AUC. Okay, let's proceed now to the second one, which is CAT. So our given is under DNA, and we are going to convert CAT into RNA. Okay, our basis for this pairing is also under RNA. Okay, so for RNA, so, cytosine is being paired with guanine. So, letter C first. Then, the pair of that is letter G. Then, for A, we have uracil. 
Then for T, since there is no T in um, RNA, we will use the pair under the DNA, which is adenine. Okay, then proceed to the next column. We have for G, it is being paired with letter C or cytosine. For uracil, we have uh, A. Then for A, we have U. Then, uh, look at again to the uh, genetic code table to find out what is the name of the protein of this uh, code GUA. So, on the second column. So, our basis in putting the name of the protein is on mRNA or in the second column. Okay, what I have found out, the name of this uh, uh, coded Codon is a uh, valin. Okay, the next one is our given is under uh, mRNA. So we converted this code to DNA and tRNA. Okay, let's uh, do first here on uh, the DNA. So for DNA, our basis here is the pairing under DNA because we converted this, this code to DNA. So under DNA, G is being paired with uh, cytosine. Then U uh, cannot be found on the pairing under the DNA. So we are going to use the pairing under RNA, which is A. Then for C, we have letter G. Okay, next. On the third column, we converted this uh, uh, given code to tRNA. So we're going to use now a code or pairing code under the RNA. So for G, we have C. Then for U, we have A. Then for C, we have G. Then the name of this code also here is... Uh, for G, you see that is valin because valin has four code that you can see there in the uh, genetic code table. Okay, the last example on this activity number five, which is trace the code. So for number four example, so the protein is already given. So what you are going to do is to look at uh, the code of methionine in the genetic code table and if you find out what is that code please write it into trna which is in the third column okay so the third column or the code of methionine in the genetic code table is a u g so you are going to write it in the third column under tRNA before you converted that one into mRNA and DNA. So in this case, we are going to convert AUG to uh, mRNA using again the pairing under the RNA. So for A, we have U. Then for U, we have A. Then for G, we have C. Then we convert AUC into the DNA. So since there is no U under the pairing of DNA, we are going to use the pairing under the RNA, which is A is being paired with, or U is being paired with A. Then for A under the DNA, it is being paired with thymine, then for letter C, it is being paired with uh, guanine. Okay, so that is the process of how you are going to uh, do for this activity number five, which is trace the code. So if the given on the problem is already the name of the protein, you are going to write the code under tRNA. But if you are going to convert the code if the given is the code under 
uh, DNA, mRNA, and tRNA, your basis in putting the name of the protein is on mRNA, which is the which is in the second column. Okay, yun lamang po ang base natin para we can do perfectly about this activity. Okay, for those who wanted to learn for this one, kindly share and please uh, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel because I'm going to uh, put this lesson into my channel which is Jose Arbalati Dolfo YouTube channel. Thank you guys and hope you understand how I explained this activity number 5 which is trace the code. Thank you so much for watching. God bless everyone.